here we go we'll, we'll start here at the back obviously well i had the rear end off got a new tire 26 by 3 duro beach bum tire here um new new spokes so i took it to uh, a wheel building shop i uh, had a, a master wheel builder uh put this together powder coat them so it's got new new nipples so nine gauge uh spokes and nipples stainless steel powder coated um got the new qs 205 v3 ti that's the uh the 650 turn so 5t a lot more torque than the 4t that i had on a little less top speed but uh, i i was never topping out to speed on the 4t anyways it's just there's just such fast motors that uh i'd rather i went with the torque just for street riding and and been able to get through traffic a little faster so you can see that i also swapped out all of the the motor bolts with the uh, gold titanium bolts there to dress that up um while i had it off i also put a new freewheel on there so a 16t freewheel dicta got the anodized bolts here and the swing arm uh t the torque plates um what else do we got here carbon fiber wrapped the swing arm and then i stripped all the led lights that i had off and i i put some new led lights on that have kind of the black background on there i stripped the lights off put put some new addressable ones on here so at night this this bike here everything can all sync together um it's this is like the true tron bike man um what else we got back here new crank arms crank bolts new pedals swapped out all those pedal screws with the gold anodized and the crank cover or the pedal cover dust caps swap those out it's hard to see here but on the back i'll show you even swapped those out with gold anodized crank bolts there um new tail lights with blinkers so wire those up got those see all the candy paint and the headlight here if i just flip my switch and that turns on my daytime running lights which i have hooked up to the brake lights so the brake lights are activated with with that that also turns on my headlights as well here Got the uh, the new Honda motorcycle seat. I swapped that out. A lot more cushion, a lot more comfortable. So the padding helps a lot. Plus, I, I like this uh, the material, and obviously with it being red and black, it it just matches the whole theme of the bike here so much better. Man, um, it's so much. It's hard to go over everything. Carbon fiber wrapped the uh, fork guards. Threw a little bit of candy paint on those. You can kind of see that. It's got my decals. Stupid fast. Stockish. Over here, I got my Shimano. Stockish in red. Swapped out every single bolt on this bike, guys. Oh, I mean every bolt, I mean every bolt. All this is now gold titanium bolts. Gold titanium. You can see every bolt. Well, and I, I eventually, my next uh, project is whenever I bleed the brakes next, 
I have these bolts in gold titanium as well. So the ones in the calipers. So those will get swapped out as well. Gold titanium, titanium. Got the red here with the gold titanium washers. Titanium, titanium here even in the in the grips those bolts have been swapped out the head stem all of these bolts titanium i mean i went through this bike with a fine tooth comb and just swapped every bolt out swapped it all over to the titanium got rid of the stainless steel Yeah, a lot of details in the bolts for me. Um, there's only, man, even, yeah. You can see here, swap, swapped out the head stem bolt up top here. This goes through my, the phone holder and down into the steerer tube. around to the bike. But it's a completely new bike, that's for sure. I hit the little red halo here. This relay that turns on my, all the lights. It's hard to see it in the daytime. Obviously you can see it running a little bit there. It runs those here underneath the controller so all the frame lighting goes through this guy right there ignition key switch here dual charging ports for usb it's my voltmeter so right now got 129 volts my low voltage i have it set in the app at 118 my true low voltage is 116 but i have it kind of cutting it off at 118 so i'm not getting that that dangerously close on there but yeah man this bike is such a, a blast to ride it's a different ride definitely between now and uh since the last update but since i first got it man because it it initially had the bicycle seat on there. Uh, it was real high centered when riding fast, but added that moto seat. And then I rode with that moto seat for probably a good six months to a year and then swapped over to this now, this Honda one. So this Honda one's brand new. So just got a few rides on her. Tire's new. Uh, tire. I also had a rim liner put in. So it's got uh, Gorilla Tape around the rim that they put in, and then an additional rim liner, and then a thorn proof tube, and then a Kevlar tire liner, and then the new tire, and uh, slime. So trying to make these tires bulletproof uh, as much as possible. And it definitely helps having all those all those additional you know pieces from getting any kind of pinch flat or running over anything that that could potentially poke through i mean you want to do as much as you can obviously because you're riding fast these bikes are heavy and the last thing you want to do is be walking these bikes home what a flat that sucks i've done it before actually which is why i have all that shit on there now